a company you want to run with, is a company you want to partner with, is a company you want to own a share of, you know, by buying their stocks and shares. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, The Bulletproof Life. My name is Ronke Odeomomi and I'm delighted to have you here. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the best high growth stocks you need to be buying this July. This is the month of July and I've come to you now with stocks and shares you need to be buying. If you are watching this video beyond July, August, September, October, November, December, I need you to know that these growth stocks are still valid because they are companies that are expected to perform well all of 2021. So what are the high growth stocks I have for you today? Do you have your pen and paper? Are you ready to take notes so that you can jump on over to your investment platform and invest yourself into wealth with these stocks and shares? Are you ready? Before we get into it, can I ask you to please press the like button smash 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 the like button for me i love it when you press like on these videos because youtube then goes on to share with other people like you if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it by pressing the red button on your right don't forget to press the bell so you can get notifications every time i share a new video this particular video is going to be information packed it's going to be jam packed with information for you i'm going to provide reasons why you should be buying this high growth stock so honestly get a pen and paper you are going to need it so let's jump right into the high growth stocks for july or basically 2021 before i go into listing the high growth stocks what do i mean by growth investing what do i mean by growth stocks growth investing is one of two main fundamental investing strategies the other one being value investing investors employing a growth investing strategy meaning they are buying growth stocks will typically place the majority of their portfolio in growth stocks these are the stocks i'm going to tell you now and these stocks are shares of companies whose earnings or sales are expected to grow at a significantly faster rate than the rest of the market that's companies that are growing really fast they generally don't pay dividends these growth stock companies at this stage since all their earnings are usually reinvested back into the business to generate even more earnings or revenue in the future the primary way investors expect to earn profits from growth investing is through capital gains classic examples of growth stocks and you know a lot of these companies include facebook amazon netflix yeah you know all of these companies so now you have an idea of the kind of companies i'm calling growth stocks or the kind of companies that are generally called growth stocks let's go right into my list for you so now you know what growth stocks are i'm going to be giving you this magic list of growth stocks that you should be buying in july and i'm going to be doing them across three different criteria firstly i will tell you the growth stocks to buy based on their earnings per share then i will tell you the growth stocks to buy based on revenue or sales and then i will tell you the growth stocks to buy based on both earnings per share and revenue then i will throw in two extra growth stocks i'm particularly excited about this month of july so talking about growth stocks by eps which is earnings per share these are the stocks that have the highest year over year earning per share growth this quarter and rising earnings shows that a company's business is growing and is generating more money than it can reinvest or return to shareholders which is a fantastic sign these companies i'm going to suggest to you had an eps growth of 2200 percent this quarter and the first one is boston scientific corporation boston scientific develops mix and sells minimally invasive medical devices its products are used in a variety of medical areas including urology cardiac rhythm management endoscopy and neuromodulation boston scientific has received a consensus rating of buy by wall street analysts the company's average rating score is 2.79 and it is based on 13 buy ratings five hold ratings and no sell ratings at all which means all wall street analysts are saying buy or hold please do not sell according to analyst consensus price target of 46 dollars 95 boston scientific has a forecasted upside of 8.6 percent from its current price of 43.23 
dollars it means that if you buy it now you're most likely going to make money the second company i want to talk to you about is the interpublic group of companies is a group of advertising and marketing service companies it specializes in consumer advertising digital marketing communications planning and media buying public relations and data management the third company is called the fifth third bank up now fifth third bank up which is fitb on the stock exchange is a diversified monetary provider firm which means is a bank within the midwest and southeast elements of the us it's a firm that provides retail and business banking funding advisory and so on to various banks on the 22nd of june fifth third introduced provide which is its digital platform for healthcare practices and this acquisition is expected or anticipated to strengthen fifth third's position in the healthcare sector which is a good reason why you should be looking to buy fifth cup looking at stocks you should be buying in terms of revenue so there are stocks with the highest year on year sales growth for the most recent quarter and rising sales helps investors identify companies that are able to grow revenue so i'm telling you about three companies that have had the best revenue year on year for this quarter and that is to say these companies are able to grow revenue they are able to make money and if they're able to grow revenue they are likely to turn a huge profit for you as an investor the first company i'm going to mention is one that you know and probably use a lot and it's zoom yes zoom has had a revenue growth of 191 percent this quarter zoom is a provider of video first communications web conferencing and so on you've used it i mean the lockdown has turned all of us into zoom expert and on the 9th of june zoom launched its phone appliances services a new category of hardware services designed for the hybrid workforce it features video and audio capabilities touch display interactive whiteboarding and so on so zoom is definitely one to get on the amount of zoom sessions we've had in the last one and a half years is proof that zoom is one to watch the second stocks and shares to be buying this July is that of Etsy. Yes, Etsy has had a revenue growth of 141.5% this quarter. Etsy, if you don't know it, is an e-commerce company that sells art, supplies, houseware, paper goods, clothing, similar products like that, you know, home decor. It allows artists to come on and sell products that they've made. And the company announced in early June that it will acquire the pop the pop is a privately held community-led marketplace you can sell your used clothes there is a fashion marketplace and etsy is acquiring that for 1.6 billion and this is because the pop has a 90 percent user group of people less than the age of 26 and is the 10th most visited shopping website by generation z consumers domestically this transaction which is expected to close at the end of this year is expected to add a lot of value to etsy etsy has a positive trajectory its revenue and net income has shot up over the last few years 111 percent 264 percent etsy is growing 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 and is expected to continue growing in addition Etsy's gross merchandise sales in 2020 was over 107% higher than the previous year. It's having a lot of spike. Online sales and online shopping has really benefited Etsy. Etsy is a company that has benefited from the pandemic. We are shopping online. We are doing home decor. We are doing all of that. We are making changes. In fact, Etsy finished 2020 at a level that was 62% higher than expected. If investors were worried that XT won't keep up with the kind of growth that is happening in the world post pandemic. The company's first quarter performance has helped investors to totally calm down. Both Etsy's revenue and net income has shot up exponentially in the last few years. So, Etsy is definitely one you need to be buying this July if you haven't bought Etsy in the past. It's definitely a stock I would recommend based on its revenue um, in the last quarter.
The third company or the third stocks and shares I'm recommending this July is that of a company called Essential Utilities. Essential Utilities has had a revenue growth of 128% this quarter. It's a regulated utility holding firm that gives water, wastewater and pure gasoline providers to about 5 million people in the U.S. across Texas, Illinois, New Jersey, Virginia, and so on. It's an utility company. It provides water, utilities, and so on to people in this area. It's a company that is worth looking at. It's a company that's worth investing in. It's had fantastic revenue and is expected to continue to have fantastic revenue. Moving on to companies that I'm going to recommend based on their joint EPS and revenue growth these are companies that you know ranked on both their eps and re revenue growth they've had a fantastic time this last quarter their most recent eps and revenue growth combined in the last quarter has been great both sales and earnings are critical factors in the success of a company so we, if we have a company that is holding down these two things is worth buying and the first company on my list is tesla Tesla has had an EPS growth of 1,850% and a revenue growth of 73.6%. Tesla, as we all know, is engaged in the design and manufacture of electric vehicles and mass market sedans and trucks. It also produces solar energy generation and energy storage products. So Tesla is a firm favorite. The second company in this category that combines both EPS and revenue growth success together in this quarter is Zoom. I mentioned earlier that Zoom has had a revenue growth of 191% in the last quarter. Well, Zoom has also had EPS growth of 722%. Definitely, Zoom is worth buying. Now, I have given you these companies that you can buy based on their EPS, based on their revenue, and based on a combination of EPS and revenue. But there are two companies I want to throw into the basket for you. And the first one is Amazon. Amazon is my favorite all-time growth stock. This is a company that continues to grow and grow and grow. It's right now grown by 730% in terms of revenue in the last one year. And analysts think that Amazon still has a lot of potential to grow and Amazon has room to grow. It just, the sky is the limit for Amazon. Everything Amazon puts its finger on is successful. It's synonymous with online retail. It manages its own inventory. It has its own cloud platform. It's, it has fast growing operations. It offers subscriptions, advertising, web hosting. Amazon's diverse business strategy has brought it monumental success in any industry it chooses to expand into. When Amazon puts its tentacles into an industry, you can best believe that it's going to succeed there. Case in point, the company launched its cloud business, Amazon Web Services, in 2006. And right now, today, it commands the dominant share of the cloud industry, of the $130 billion cloud industry with a 32% share of the market. Amazon's ability to attract new streams of revenue and seize market share in already crowded marketplaces has made it a force to reckon with. And that is why I'm saying if you haven't bought Amazon shares, you definitely need to be buying Amazon shares this July, this year. If not this July, buy it at some point this year. Amazon is a company you want to run with, is a company you want to partner with, is a company you want to own a share of, you know, by buying their stocks and shares. The second company I want to throw into the basket for you this July is a company called Vertex Pharmaceuticals. Now, Vertex Pharmaceuticals in the healthcare space is not a well-known company, but you see, this is an industry that continues to abound with opportunities for long-term investors. And even though Vertex is lesser known in the world of healthcare stocks and rare disease drug makers, it's a company that you want to invest in. It's a premium growth player is a premium growth stocks and i want to place it on your radar so that you can consider investing in vertex pharmaceuticals this company currently has four approved medicines on the market all of them are for the treatment of cystic fibrosis on june 9th this year vertex pharmaceuticals announced that the food and drug administration had expanded its approval for the company's top selling drugs which is called tricafta now, previously, 
Trikafta was approved for individuals age 12 and up with certain cystic fibrosis mutations, which represented roughly 90% of old people who have this inherited disorder. Trikafta's approval has been expanded to include children between the ages of 6 and 11 who have certain cystic fibrosis mutations. This is great news for cystic fibrosis patients and will further cement Vertex leadership in this sector of the healthcare market. It also means that Vertex is definitely one to watch out for as they push out more essential drugs into a multi-million dollar industry. Vertex is expected to hit a 14 billion valuation globally by the year 2025. This is what it is expected to do. Vertex has already reported a 50% jump in its product revenue in 2020s. Net income also jumped up by 130% compared to 2019. In the first quarter of 2021, the company's product revenues jumped by a respectable 14% year over year, while it reported an 8% increase in net income. I think I've told you quite a few things about Vertex Pharmaceuticals now that should encourage you to do a little bit more research about them and consider buying Vertex Pharmaceutical as a company you want to invest in this year. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been short, it's been sharp, but I've shared with you stocks and shares you need to be buying this month of July. Now, if you're somebody who is interested in learning more about investing, you want to know how to get started, you need to jump on my investing masterclass. The next one is happening in August and there will be another one in October and then there will be another one in December. These are the months I have them every year. So this month stay the same, whatever year we are in. You know, I will have a date in this month I've mentioned, August, October, December, you know, for the investing masterclass, you want to jump on it. Also, beyond those months, I have the investing masterclass every other month of the year. So you can count and figure that out. Yes. So if you want to attend any of my investing masterclasses so that you can get on top of your investing awareness, your investing knowledge, so that you also can start buying stocks and shares, jump into my inbox, send me a message, send me an email, let me know, come along to my investing masterclass, learn more about investing thing so that when i'm talking about growth stocks you need to be buying you know exactly what to do now if you are somebody who has already have attended my investing masterclass or you know a lot about investing but you just don't really want to choose your own stocks you want to follow the leader you want to choose stocks that Ruka is choosing you want to buy whatever i'm buying then you also can jump into my inbox to talk about my follow the leader program where i allow people to see what i'm investing in and copy it or to simply you know tell you what i would do if i was in your shoes in terms of risk appetite and investment goals if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it by pressing the red button on your right don't forget to press the bell so you can get notifications every time I share a new video have you smashed the like button have you if you haven't please do so smash 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 the like button let youtube share my video with a wider community until my next video you take care of yourself and keep living that bulletproof life bye bye